Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Oh my beautiful Scorpio, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Scorpio. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do. Because it's going to keep up with y'all through the comments, right, Scorpio? Along with that as well, I would love for you to give this video a like and subscribe, Scorpio, if you do find some cards that resonate with you. Because it does help out my tarot channel a lot. I always am super appreciative of it, Scorpio, when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel in that way. Uh, and finally, Scorpio, before we get into this reading, I just want to say, remind you that when it comes to receiving my weekly general tarot readings, uh, these cards are here just to give you some perspective in your life, right? Not making a choice in your life in any which way at all, because it's just here to give you some food for thought, because ultimately, it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, Scorpio. So keep that in mind when it comes to receiving this weekly reading. So now that we said all that, my beautiful Scorpio, let's get into your weekly reading. Starting out with your uh, objective card. I almost forgot the word for it. Starting out with your objective card, Scorpio, we have the Hierophant coming in. No, this is not the Hierophant. This is the High Priestess coming in for you, uh, Scorpio. So this is a really good intuitive week for you. Um, well, actually, I want to take, I know it's such a minor detail, Scorpio, but I don't want to say it's a good week for your intuition because then I feel like it gives off the false pretenses, Scorpio, um, that your intuition is just extremely on point when, um, not to say that it is or isn't, right? Again, I don't, I don't, I can't tell just from some tarot cards, right? And plus, this is just for so many Scorpios, it's impossible for me to just say one for sure message. But keep in mind when this is your objective card, Scorpio, and this is the dynamic of tapping in to your intuition a little bit more, paying attention to it. So for some of you Scorpios, you may already be in tune with your intuition. For others of you, this may be coming in as a message of um, making sure that you're connecting with your intuition and not like your ego, for example, because your ego can come in, um, slither in, in the shape of your uh, intuition if you let your ego get a, out of hand at to, uh, some point, right? Uh, as well, when you have the High Priestess card coming in for your uh, objective card, this is a week. Really, um, I just because of how I associate the High Priestess, uh, Scorpio, I always associate the High Priestess as an individual who um, is able to connect with the others. Uh, I view actually the high priestess themselves as the archetype, someone that is able to connect to the higher uh, um, energies of the spiritual world, right? Uh, I see the higher friend as connecting to your higher self. So as well, I just want to point out with the high priestess card Scorpio is I was kind of, we'll see this as a calling of connecting to your spirit guides uh, this week, uh, Scorpio. So let's look at your clarifiers for that high priestess card. <laughs> Coming in here, we have the, I don't know why my nose is stuffed up all of a sudden, <laughs> Scorpio. It wasn't like this before I hit record. Uh, starting out, though, we have your Ten of Cups, Scorpio. We have your Justice card coming in here. And then, Scorpio, we have your Five of Cups coming in here. So when you come in, when you look at this as clarifiers, this is almost a week. Uh, definitely, Scorpio, this is a time that I see for a lot of you guys of doing a lot of healing in terms of your Ten of Cups situation, right? Right now, when I talk about your Ten of Cups situation, what I mean by this, Scorpio, is that um, the Ten of Cups is usually this, uh, associating with like your close-knit circle, right? Five of Cups is letting me know of some type of pain that's associated with, I don't want to say pain, Right? Because here's the thing. I feel like pain gives the implication, Scorpio, that this is something that's recently happened. And I don't think this has really ha recently happened. I don't feel like we're really touching on anything um, of tangible, uh, one specific point in time when it comes to a situation that you're healing from or moving on from, getting closure on. Um, I see this more so as a uh, maybe perhaps like your view right because it is under the uh high priestess spectrum so it is perhaps like your view in terms of how um 
essentially, long story short, uh, Scorpio, this is kind of like a shadow work card, justice card coming in here. There is some type of balance, things coming into balance when it comes to your uh, personal life. So I actually want to pull a couple more cards as clarified. Well, I guess we'll do three uh, for this as well. And just to really hone in on this message, uh, we have the Three of Wands coming in here, Ace of Pentacles, as well as the Four of Wands here. So yeah, definitely confirming to me. I, I wanted these clarifiers, Scorpio, just so I could get like a... Because this could be in a message where it's just like a seemingly kind of a heavy message, or it could be a positive message. With these affirmations, this is a positive message. I mean, all three of these cards are really good cards. So this is confirming to me, uh, Scorpio, of a... Uh, you know, I don't know if you were, if there was some type of situation in your close circle that you weren't feeling all too good about at one point, Scorpio. Um, or if there was just like some past issues of maybe letting people in. Uh, this week, I do definitely see some closure coming in in that regard. I do definitely see guys. Um, there's definitely some forward ground here, right? With the Three of Wands here. Like all three of these cards pan out in such a way where it's just like, Three of Wands comes in as where well you're starting to probably get a little bit of the breadcrumbs or a little bit of the um, results of the situation healing for you, whatever that Ten of Cups is. Four of Wands is forward progression, right? Ace of Disc, this is, yeah, this is all just panning out to be such a positive message for my Scorpios when it comes to, uh, getting closure when it comes to certain like close-knit situ close circle um of people in some type of situation you're getting closure on rather so let's wrap this up now with a closing card uh for this we have the sun card if we weren't going to get any more of an affirming message of the the whole thing being a positive closure sense for you, Scorpio. The Sun card really hones in on this message and finalizes this message as well for you, Scorpio. Whatever it is that you've been feeling unsure about or unstable with when it comes to your close-knit circle of your Ten of Cups, Scorpio, you're definitely going to be seeing some signs of things kind of uh, panning out nicely, right? Maybe if you were having a little bit of a uh, unsure of nature when it came to this situation where you weren't really sure how you stood with them or what have you, I see things kind of panning out to be in a more positive way uh, this week. So continuing on with your message now, we have the Nine of Cups, right? So this, this right off the bat, Scorpio, you're feeling extremely fulfilled this week. If you're on this journey, you're feeling fulfilled and really on this towards happy league. I can't help but feel like this is just a good week for you. Maybe it's not necessarily a flashy week uh, for a lot of you Scorpios, but this is probably going to be a week that you feel the least amount of resistance towards that you've had in a while, rather, we'll say, Scorpio. So let's look at these clarifiers of your uh, Nine of Cups, see what we can get with this, right? So looking at your Nine of Cups, Scorpio, the clarifiers that we have coming in for you is the Seven of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords as well, Scorpio. The Queen of Cups. As well as the Four of Cups. As hmm. Hmm. Scorpio. I'm taking in this message and... Um, it seems like there is like, and I feel like it's kind of touching in on some type of dynamic. Again, I'm going to hone in on this type of message when it comes to the Ten of Cups. Um, I'm going to speak in terms of a person, but it very easily could be a situation like a yeah a situation that you just haven't had quite too much closure on, Scorpio. Um, with this Nine of Cups, the clarifiers that we'll first hone in on is the message of the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups for you. Scorpio. So when it came to this initial initial situation, you want you wanted the situation to work out. You felt pretty good about this situation, um, and then the Seven of Swords kind of had you blinded, um, or kind of had you distracted in a sense. Right now, I don't know where the Seven of Swords came from, uh, Scorpio, but this in essence, this energy. Once this energy came in, you, you started being extremely on guard. Uh, Scorpio, there is this sense of where it's just like some type of red alarm that this alarm system that you had, internal alarm system that you had when it came to this situation or this person, and you kind of just shut down, right? Maybe this person exuded like an old red flag of yours from another person in your life, and there's kind of I kind of get this as like a trigger response or a trauma response rather than it being over anything of actual substance, uh, Scorpio. And then because of this, right, because of that. 
um, trigger response from you, Scorpio. We have the Four of Cups here, where you started turning a blind eye to it, where you started just being resistant to it overall. And so there's almost a message here for some of you Scorpios, because I feel like this has been a long-standing thing for some of you guys with the Seven of um, Swords, because again, I'm not really getting this as like a one specific situation i kind of see this as like a pattern of yours scorpio uh, once you put your guard up then or once your guard is in initiated which is, you know can kind of be a little bit trigger happy with that sometimes scorpio this is coming from a libra scorpio cusp honey so uh, i understand um there's a reason why there's certain people certain situations that keep repeating or keep being present in your life scorpio because spirits having trying to have you uh work with it more right there's you know if, if you're finding that there's something that's seemingly un inescapable in your life there's a reason for it uh queen of cups ace of swords coming in as the final messages with this nine of cups uh as the clarifiers this is letting me know why this is here right because deep down nine of uh ace of swords and this queen of cups you have good thoughts with it like you associate good feelings with this scorpio if you were to be honest with yourself but perhaps you know we have to still work on like what it is that's causing that seven of swords triggered right i don't get this in a sense of where it's like if this was from a other person's situation i'm really not getting like a malevolent energy in this at all like with the intent on trying to hurt you at all scorpio or what have you um just as like a random side note uh final two cards that came out for you guys uh three of wands and then the five of uh five of wands as well now i am going to i normally don't point out like something being inverted or not scorpio just because whatever but um when you have this five of wands being inverted normally in the upright scorpio um it's the card of conflict and i normally don't talk about inverted and not because it's usually intuitive messages it's always intuitive messages with me and so um, but when I explain these cards, right, anyone that's not fa that's familiar with my readings, you see the five of wands and it's, it's conflict, right? So when it's inverted like this in the three of wands together, it's a powerful message, Scorpio, and um, healing happening. And you're seeing signs of this healing happening when it comes to the situation. Healing and closure is something that's a very big theme for you, seemingly, this week, uh, Scorpio. So, um, you know, while all of this seems all of this seems to be really good stuff, and it, it is, right? It's all in for your growth, uh, Scorpio. Knight of Swords is still going to be a little bit rough for you. A little bit mentally taxing, emotionally taxing for sure. I mean, naturally, right? Whenever you get closures to anything, um, it can definitely be take a toll on you. Draining, right, Scorpio? So, continuing on with this message, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on here, uh, Scorpio. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles, this is letting me know the similar situation that you have put energy into, right? Some, this is something that's been deep rooted, right? Confirming to me that this is not really a um, new thing that occurs into your life. So, let's look at these messages. The uh, three clarifiers that we have, Scorpio, for your Seven of Pentacles is the Fool card coming in here, as well as the Queen of Wands, and then the Hanged Man. So I'm smiling with this, uh, Scorpio, because this is such a beautiful trio of cards to have, right? Because not only are you having the Passion here with the Queen of Wands, but... You have it paired with the fool where it's kind of just like a letting go and letting god scorpio you're finally uh your in inhibitions are down your insecurities are down and you're kind of just going for it right whatever was keeping you back holding you from entertaining this flame that you had as your queen of wands back it's starting to open up for you scorpio hanged man as well and it's starting to open up through action of some sort on your end i do get scorpio so let's get one clarifying card two of wands um definitely scorpio this is coming in as a message of um you know this is the card of planning right so when you have all these cards associated there's something that you've been planning for quite a while scorpio there's been some type of game plan um and i do feel like it's all because it's based off of that queen of wands pa like a lot of passion um some type of passionate creative project that you guys have been kind of uh sitting on for a while or an idea i see you guys finally taking action onto it um this is definitely something that you guys have already had in your head for quite some time again is something that i'm getting uh scorpio 
So this isn't really going to be something like, uh, especially with the, how your Ace of Swords was planted, right? Um, your Ace of Swords shows to me that you already have like a current like consistent flow of thoughts going on, uh, Scorpio. This is really seemingly to be about a week of where it's like, maybe perhaps even the closure that you get in one situation almost opens up and frees you to allow you to uh, uh, engage a different situation wherever that wants what it is, right? So... The chariot card goes in with this message, right? This is when the movement happens. Uh, so let's get some clarification on this. Something I also want to note, uh, Scorpio, is you guys are getting a lot of major arcana cards coming in for you guys, which always good, right? But when you have so many major arcana cards, it does signify of some pretty impactful transitions, uh, pretty impactful changes coming into your life, right? So let's pull some of these clarifiers now, Scorpio, for your chariot. So coming in for your chair, I guess we get four cards for you. Coming in <laughs> for your chariot, Scorpio, we have the Queen of Cups following you. We have the Magician card. We have the Strength card. And then we have the Knight of Cups, right? Yeah, Knight of Cups. Breaking this down, Scorpio, let's look at this. Definitely the chariot energy starts going forward when it comes to the strength card, right? This is what, you know, I always say this is the shadow work card. Uh, this is the card of where it's like, um, you working through those things that were initially, uh, gunky, yucky feelings for you, uh, Scorpio. So what I mean by that is like your insecurities, whatever, you know, whatever gets that motion going for you. Um, right? I feel like you're kind of just letting, again, like this very much so an energy of just allowing yourself to be and allowing yourself to put yourself out there, right? Queen of Cups, you're really feeling extremely, um, I feel like this week, Scorpio, you guys are really, uh, becoming at peace or in tune with yourself. You almost, dare I say, just some of you guys, there's a random message, just learning to like yourself more. Some of you, uh, Scorpios as well are just starting to just realize your own worth because with this magician card with this knight of cups coming in here this is you guys uh scorpio creating these blessings coming towards you right and this is you as the magician card right where it's just like that final piece that needed to be unlocked that needed to be shifted in your life which is that insecurity that was holding you back scorpio um, this Knight of Cups then responds accordingly, right? Paired with that Chariot card, right? Of course, from before, it's all the all, things coming to you, Scorpio. It seems to be the constant theme here. Things, things coming to you the more that you uh, open up yourself. It's one of the, I forget where I get this, I got that quote, get this quote from Scorpio, but it's one of, it's a quote that reminds me of you. It is uh, when life opens up, life opens up rather when you do. Not really a deep quote, but it's almost like when you think about it, it's like once you open up to yourself, oh, you know, very much so, Ace of Cups energy, right? Uh, open up your heart, allowing things to happen. That's when life will start giving you things. That's when life starts opening up with opportunity for you, Scorpio. So now, Page of Pentacles, right? This is a card usually of communication. Uh, let's look at what this page represents for you. What is this new beginning of stability coming in with, right? What is this communication or stability? We'll get a clear, we'll get an understanding of this right now. So the clarifiers that we have coming in for your page of pentacles, Scorpio, is the four clarifiers again. Is the four of wands following you? The star card following you? <laughs> the what is this the magician card following you as well and then the four of pentacles and four of wands i guess y'all got five no you all got four am i crazy did i say four of wands honey <laughs> so let's break this down for y'all scorpio um hmm. the thing here is with this Four of Wands and the Star card coming with this Page of Pentacles, this is letting me know something that's kind of been an option for you, uh, Scorpio. This is something that you've had your eye on for a while that you would have liked, um, but it's just, again, you're just now deciding to invest your Pentacles into that. You're just now starting to 
create uh, the reality that's fitting for this. This has always been yours, Scorpio, essentially is what I'm getting uh, with these tarot cards uh, for you. This has been yours. You kind of just now are making the decision to walk towards this 1111 portal, that four uh, of wands, right? That star card where it's just like you're finally going out and just reaching up and grabbing at that star, right? That wish fulfillment card. So really good overall reading for you Scorpios. So um, if you, that is the cards that I have for you Scorpios though. So if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do Scorpio as well. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Uh, Scorpio. Um, and also, I do the weekly general zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs, um, Scorpio. So if you have a friend that's in the tarot, or even if they are not Scorpio, be sure to share my videos with them and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. Until next time, though, Scorpio, I love you so much. Bye.